I remade the Roblox playlist UI, but now it's customizable. You can see some of the customizations I've made in the corner, like the Roblox ownership icon. It checks if you're an owner and then you'll get the icon if you're the owner. But it has the same functionality and the same main layout. So like the teams and the players, it'll have that same layout. Um, but yeah, so it has the same functionality. Like you can examine an avatar, you can run requests, you can block people, etc. You also have the teams. So if like if you uh, remove your team and you go neutral, it'll have the neutral team set up for you. If you team yourself back, you'll go back to black. Um, in the replicated storage, you'll if you put in the leader stats, you have the stats. You can edit the stats as well and it'll update accordingly, even with the teams. So if I put in like a really big number, like one trillion, it'll abbreviate it and it'll show it on the team. Um, you can tab in and out like a regular UI. Like I said, main functionality stuff, um, but it's customizable now. So here's how you can customize it. But first you wanna get the module. The link is in the description. You put that into replicated storage. And then when you open the playlist module here, you'll see two folders. You'll see a modules folder and a templates folder. The templates folder will have templates for the main UI and then under the modules folder and you go into inspect player you'll see another templates folder that'll be for when you click on that'll be the ui for when you click on the player and you get to friend them block them or whatever um, so yeah so for the templates for the main ui you're going to want to insert the the entity slot and the header into the container of the reference and so our reference UI is right here. It'll also be under the player list. But the reference UI will be right here. You're gonna put that in the starter GUI, and then you're gonna open the templates and choose one of these two right here. And you're gonna put those into the container. So right now I wanna edit, let's say I wanna edit the entity slot. The entity slot basically shows the preview of the player and the team. The player and the team right now are gonna look the same in terms of um, the general structure of the UI object, but their colors can change, their certain little things about them can change. So for the entity slot, you're gonna put that in the container, like I said, and you're gonna get a preview of the player. So now you wanna, if you wanna edit uh, how that looks, let's say I wanted to make the slot rounded, I could add a UI corner here and make it rounded, and it'll be rounded in the game which is pretty cool. So I'm gonna remove that. Um, but yeah, you can change the color, change the transparency, change the font of the text inside, but don't change the actual names and the hierarchy of the templates. So I don't wanna change entity slots name to something else. I don't wanna move the name frame or the UI list layout or anything like that. I wanna keep those in the same spots with the same names, but I wanna change the properties that aren't the names and aren't the parents of those. So if I want to change like the layout order or whatever, I can do that. Um, <clears throat> same with the header, put that in the container. You'll see a preview. Mine is black with no, with, uh, no transparency, but if you can want to change it to something else, like a teal or whatever, you can. If you want to change the text color, you can, like I said. You can do anything you want with it, just don't change the hierarchy or the name. Now, for the header text and the stats text, you're not going to be able to see these previews, but you can change the fonts of these. Um, you can change, like, if you want it, if you wanted to see like its own background, you can change those as well. And you can uh, see its preview if you like to play test, but you can't see its preview in Studio yet. Um, in the modules folder, you'll see inspect player and under that you'll see templates. Now for these, you put these inside of, you go, you see inspect player here and you see the offset frame. You want to copy and paste them into the offset frame. Here you can see how they're laid out, all of these. Um, and you can see that they each have their own little hierarchy as well. Like I said, don't change the hierarchy or the names, but you can change the actual properties of them. And for those, you can, like I said, change any sort of property. And once you get one that you like, once you get a look that you like, you copy and paste these 
and then you put them back into the templates folder and then you can put your reference UI back under the playlist module if you want to reuse it again and start play testing and see how it looks so I have a little custom one made already like you saw it in the first preview um, but yeah so that's how you do that so now if you want to order your stats a certain way you're gonna wanna insert a bool value in sort of you want to insert either a bull value or an int value so if you want your uh, leader stats to update and sort uh, and, and sort in a way such that like someone with more kills is a higher than someone who has less kills or someone with more deaths is up higher for some reason if you wanted that you want to insert a bool value called is primary so if I put in a bool value and call it is primary with is the I and is being capitalized and P and primary being capitalized so primary and you set that to true now the leader stats will sort off of the kills you have so if you, someone now if you have this in there now it'll be the first stat and it'll also sort off of that stat so if someone gets more kills than you they'll be up higher in the leaderboard than you if you also want the stats to be in a certain order like I said the primary stat always goes first and then if you want other stats to be in a certain order you add an int value called priority <coughs> so I'm gonna call this priority and you're gonna put it like let's say I want deaths to be before value I put it at a value of one since value doesn't have a priority then deaths will go automatically go before the kills so if you want value to be before deaths then you would want to have a higher priority so the higher priority you have the closer to the front it will be that stat will be so that's that now one little thing on the server side so if you open a script for the creator ID for me for the owner icon I had in the beginning I set an attribute called creator to the game's creator ID since you can't access that on the client for some reason so that's that but other than that little caveat you can have your regular leader stats folder as if it, you were using the Roblox's core UI um, but yeah like I said add the primary stat if you want it to sort off of that and add the priority stat if you want other stats to uh, be in a certain order so yeah if you don't want any of the stats to be sorted you just don't have a primary stat um, you can still have a priority stat and they won't sort off of the values of each one but yeah let me know if you have any questions and uh, please leave a comment and like and subscribe if you really like the video so thanks for watching and have a good day